Solana could be in serious trouble with the new information that's just come out about an FTX secret wallet holdings of 8%. That's 6 billion Solana. Let's say this got sold at some point for whatever reason, that selling pressure would absolutely liquidate Solana's chart. Now, this is not good news. Anytime you can find a a substantial whale holding an amount of any crypto like that, especially one FTX, which everyone in the crypto space knows for not being that reliable, okay? This is a huge problem. So we're gonna dive into that today, guys. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is George. I'm part of the Bull Runners family. I'm super excited to be giving you this video today. I was serving in the military for 12 years before I fell into the crypto space. I've managed to grow over a six-figure portfolio, mainly holding the top coins, Bitcoin, XRP, and of course, diving into altcoins as well. During the day, I run a successful charity in Bali, and the rest of the time, I spend researching crypto so I can give you as many facts as possible. Please always remember, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I do this purely for educational purposes only. I do this so we can get you the facts so you can go and make an educated decision yourself. So guys, let's dive into what we're going to be talking about. So today, what we're going to be covering. Okay, starting off with an interview from Michael Saylor talking about the micro strategy of Bitcoin, okay, and the USD being backed by Bitcoin very, very soon. Going into why Bitcoin is what they would call free fall right now, I would just say taking a bit of a retractment, okay, why it's going down 10% in the last week, diving through to the global liquidity and what that actually means for people that don't understand it, okay, because when you compare this to the Bitcoin market right now, it's extremely important. I'm going to dive into the specifics of that. We're going to be going through the summary details of Sen Loomis, okay, the Bitcoin Act. This is something that came out in the last 48 hours and people just do not know what it is. So this act that has been proposed, I'm gonna go through the details of exactly what it entails. I'm gonna tell you about the number one way to earn more crypto in less than 10 minutes per day with the first XRP game. And there's a link down below this video to get that. I'm gonna go through crypto bubbles, okay, and show you some of the tokens that have been doing well this year. Some tokens have been terrible. And going straight into why Solana here, you see this big, big increase of the year is one of my favorite picks okay solana is absolutely incredible although it is following a bitcoin pattern right now of in a free fall situation i'm going to tell you why i think this could be a very important part of solana now this is what i'm talking about okay we're going to be going over this the ftx whistleblower blowing up this information about six billion in sell pressure on solana i dived into it on multiple different sources so i can give you the information looking at what chimex says they think solana is going to get to and if we agree with this chart markup moving through to what the CEO of 21 shares has said about tokens like Solana, Avalanche, Polygon, and Cardano, if they will ever get ETFs. And you can let me know in the comments if you think. Some updates with Solana, okay, talking about PayPal going live on there, which is huge, huge news, which could see that chart reverse. Talking about why PayPal is very, very important, connected to Solana, and why they chose Solana to back their token, and then going through what I think are going to be the meme coins on Solana for the rest of this year, the ones that you should get invested into, the ones that I am going to get invested into. So guys, without further ado, let's get straight into this. But before we do, guys, get a 777 in that comments if you are excited to see the information today, and also put 777 in there if you want to know what meme coins I'm going to be buying for the rest of this bull run that's about to slap us in the face. So guys, I'm super excited about this. Let's get into it. All right, guys, hitting it off with Michael Saylor saying USD will be backed by Bitcoin. I like to touch on Bitcoin first in most of my videos because it is the reason why markets move the way they do majority of the time. So let's have a look at what Michael Saylor has to say. And there's every indication that nation states are embracing it. Uh, Jerome Powell says it's a digital asset. Christina Lagarde says it's a digital asset. Uh, the head of the SEC taught a class on it. I think that people understand it's, it's not a threat to the dollar, by the way. Uh, what's going to happen is the U.S. dollar is going to be the world reserve currency, and it's going to run on billions and billions of mobile devices. And the digital asset that underlines, underlies that currency is going to be Bitcoin. Wow. Um, I will tell you, I, I, my friends got me addicted. I'm, I'm a student. I'm learning. I'm still in the on the first chapter of sort of like uh, cryptocurrency for dummies, but I can't read enough of it. I love reading your stuff and uh, we appreciate you sharing it with us. Thank you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. 
Now, Michael Saylor has spoke about Bitcoin for as long as I can ever remember. And what I really like about this interview is you can hear the interviewee speaking about being a dummy in this. Even though a grown adult in 2024 can say that I'm a dummy in Bitcoin, this just shows where we're at. People just automatically hear the word cryptocurrency and think everybody knows about it. They actually do not. It's a very, very small percent that even are invested, never mind know about crypto. Okay, so this is a learning I would say decade that we have among us. So the people like us watching this video are so early adopters into cryptocurrency. You might look at Charles and think I missed that move. It's ridiculous when you compare it to the rest of the planet and who knows about it, who's even involved about it. People might have heard the word crypto, but they don't have a clue what they're talking about. So going into Bitcoin chart, okay, why is this dropped so much? Why is it going down seven days with a 10% downfall. Now the whole market right now is showing this pattern. As you can see on the main page, right, with the total cryptocurrencies by market cap, every single cryptocurrency, apart from Bitcoin Cash, is actually dropping pretty heavily. Now this is, a, this is huge, especially since we just had the Bitcoin 2024 convention. There's loads of information coming out. But what I wanna do is you should never just go on here and look at this and think, I am losing all my money. You need to go deeper in. And that's what I did with Bitcoin today. So I took a look at this tweet on Bitcoin Magazine of the Global Liquidity M2. And I'll be honest with you, I'm, I research a lot, but I'm still a student when it comes to cryptocurrency. So I read this and it was an all time high, but I didn't fully understand. I know that this does help the way that Bitcoin is gonna move. I didn't really understand how. So I dove in deeper. And the reason I did that is so I can explain it to you too. So this is the global liquidity chart, okay? You can see all the way since Bitcoin in 2014. Okay, the global liquidity chart has been rising. Now the black is the BTC line and the global M2 is the blue. So you can see how it moves pretty similar, okay? When we see heights, when we see dips, okay? But Bitcoin's a little bit more stable than the global liquidity. Now let me go deeper into this. What does this actually mean? So it means that major central banks are making more money available in the global financial system. This is achieved through either lowering interest rates or implementing quantitative easing. Quantitative easing involves buying up government bonds on and other securities to increase money supply. You can track the increases and decreases in global liquidity using the chart on the page, okay, just like I showed you. Now, why is this important for Bitcoin? So more money in the global system can encourage spending on perceived risks such as Bitcoin. It is therefore extremely valuable for strategic investors to monitor changes in global liquidity over time relation to Bitcoin price. Now, historically, Bitcoin bull markets have coincided with the rapid expansion of global liquidity. Some people view Bitcoin as a potential alternative to the central banking system. This is because Bitcoin has a predetermined monetary schedule. This is another reason people choose to monitor the price of Bitcoin alongside fluctuating global liquidity. Going back to the chart, you can see what they're talking about. You, you can make a basis. Now, I'm not saying if, if, if this drops right now, then everyone should sell their Bitcoin. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you can base the global liquidity of the planet, which is a very analytic liquidity, okay, and base Bitcoin's movement off that. Now, of course, look, we had a huge rise here and we didn't have it in global liquidity. But as you see, gradually over time, it is quite a comparable chart. So reaching an all-time high right now with an all-time high of Bitcoin should be a factor of something that you look into. Okay, guys, so that's the global liquidity and how it works. There's a lot more to dive into. Trust me, like I said, I'm a, I'm a student at this part, but I'm starting to understand that the data in this really does help where I think Bitcoin is going to move. Now, talking about the Bitcoin Act of 2024, this was something that everybody's been talking about, but not really a lot of people understood what is going on. So this is an act that has been proposed. So let's dive into this, the Strategic Bitcoin Reserve. The establishment of the SBR signifies a paradigm shift in how the United States government manages the custodians Bitcoin at the federal level. Mirroring many of the best practices currently discussed in the field, such as geographically distributed keys, cold storage mandate, and an independent proof of reserve audits. Now, the SBR creates a decentralized network of secure Bitcoin storage facilities across the United States. Notably not mentioned, however, is a multi-signature system. However, is not explicitly prevented either. Now, the act thereby aims to protect against breaches and vulnerabilities to a single catastrophic event. So funding the Bitcoin purchase program, this is what it means for that. In order to minimize the impact on taxpayers, the act employs several methods to finance the acquisition of Bitcoin, ensuring economic sustainability without increasing federal debt. It first proposes an 
amendment to the Federal Reserve Act to relocate discretionary surplus funds from the Federal Reserve Banks. This reduces the discretionary surplus funds from 6.825 billion to 2.4 billion. The Federal Reserve is required to remit net earnings to the Treasury and act redirects the first 6 billion towards purchasing Bitcoin. Now guys, you might be looking at this thinking, this is not what I want to see. I want to see you looking at the chart and tell me Bitcoin's going to 700,000. It's just simply not what we're going to do on this channel. What I want to do is give you the information that makes me either buy or sell. Now, it shouldn't affect what you do, but it should affect the way you research. So when you look at it, you can make an educated decision yourself. So that's a lot of information on Bitcoin, guys. All right. And it might be a little bit boring for some people, but these are things that you need to know going forward because ultimately it is your money and Bitcoin can, like you see in the market right now with all cryptocurrencies, completely crash out your portfolio, losing 10%, 17%, 20% in a day. So you've got to be careful in the markets. Now, if you're an XRP fan, I can show you how to earn more crypto in less than 10 minutes per day with a first XRP game with a link down below this video. Simply click that link, type in your email, and you will land on this page here where our legend founder Nick will tell you all about how you can do this in the number one XRP game on the XRP ledger. You're also going to have our legend Austin giving you a full tutorial how to set up your XRP wallet, how to get your game pieces, and how to play the game and start getting some crypto rewards. Now, XRP is a huge, huge part of my portfolio. It's why I like to speak about it all the time. But also part of that portfolio, which I don't speak about as often because maybe it doesn't have a more popular effect, is Solana. Now, Solana for the year is at 555%. And again, people don't really speak about Solana like they do Bitcoin, like they do XRP, like they do others. But Solana, to me, was one of the most important parts of my portfolio of where I actually made my income. All right, it's very, very important. So going into Solana, you can see huge free falls, just like I said with Bitcoin. But within seven days, it's 17%. It's acting dropped in price the same percentage as Bitcoin has in one day than Bitcoin did in one week. You see 9.5 and Bitcoin's done 10 in a week. So there is some serious things going on with Solana and I think I can address them in this video. So number one, let's go into what I spoke about at the start. The ex-FTX employee whistleblower reveals hidden FTX wallets holding 8% of Solana, which you can see is 6 billion. Okay, now... In a stunning revelation, an ex-employee of FTX has come forward, whistleblower, uncovering that FTX wallets hold approximately 8% of the total supply of Solana. Now, this is massive cache of Solana, previously undisclosed, highlights the extensive entanglement of FTX and Alameda research within the Solana ecosystem and sets the stage for strategic liquidation to prevent market chaos. Now, the whistleblower's revelation, all right? The whistleblower saying this, who worked closely with the FTX internal operations, has disclosed the FTX and Alameda Research held a significant portion of Solana's supply in undisclosed wallets. This hidden trove of soul represents a substantial market influence and underscores the opaque financial practices that led to FTX's downfall. Now, there's going to be two important things I tell you right now. Number one. I did research this as much as I could. I found it on Binance Square. I found it on Twitter Space. I found it on a lot of things. But it was the exact same picture. So to me, I cannot tell you 100% if this is true. But what I can tell you is every single tweet is this same picture. Every single article I read is this same picture. So if this is the original source, then of course this could be true. But until I see more information or quotes of the actual whistleblower. Unfortunately, I won't be able to tell you if it is absolutely true, but that does not change anything because the price of Solana, maybe that is what affected it, has still dropped 10% in a day. Information, whether it's a rumor or true, can affect a crypto market. Now, I'm here to try and find the facts for you and tell you, that's why I'm telling you this could not be true. So maybe this could be a good time to buy. If this comes out as fake and the price rises back up, this could be perfect. If it turns out it's true, the price could drop even more. So guys, you got to make a decision yourself. But I can't tell you if that's true. But looking at Chimex's markup yesterday, he, by what it looks like, believes that this is a perfect time to buy. All right, he sees this dropped into the zone of 159.92 and about to pop back up to 185. So this could be a really, really interesting time to buy when you look at the chart due to the fact that this could be a rumor that's just come out that's affected the news and due to the fact that this is a huge drop. 
this is a huge drop and falling into the space marked up by most crypto traders with Solana, this is the area where we're going to see a bounce back up. So this could be a perfect time for you. Now let's go into the CEO of 21 shares, Haney Rashwan. Okay, explain how smart contract blockchains like Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Polygon, and Cardano will cry ETF investors education. Also that non-staking ETPs will initially show more demand. So this could be huge news for Solana as well because we know that Ethereum's ETS that got approved, okay, puts them into the category with Bitcoin. But who is next? And number one on that list was Solana until maybe two days ago when now people talk about Avalanche, Polygon, or Cardano maybe being next. But I truly think Solana is next in the running to get approval. Smart contracts, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Polygon, Cardano, etc. Um, are still not a very known entity um, to most people. And so maybe they've heard, they've heard of Ethereum because it's been getting more and more press, but I doubt that most people today can even describe Ethereum rather well. Yeah. And so, but on the other uh, hand, and for the foreseeable future, I really do think that uh, there is going to be a large amount of demand for a non-staking, ultra-conservative Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, Avalanche, etc. ETPs. So on, on path with what most experts are saying, okay, not saying that Haney is an expert, but he's the CEO of 21 shares and influential people saying the same thing. Solana, Avalanche, Polygon, and Cardano, will they require ETFs is gonna be a bit of a push, but also the non-staking ETPs will show more demand. So I, I, I obviously think the XRP is gonna be in the running for the next ETF, but I do think Solana is up there tapping shoulders with XRP. I think Avalanche, Polygon, and Cardano myself, are a bit further down the scale. But again, I'm no expert. I'm just giving you what I've researched and what I can think. But breaking news, going into a bit of positive about Solana and what could make that price bounce up like we see is PayPal going live on Solana right now. So PayPal have actually partnered with Solana, allowing them to be the project form. So in an open letter, PayPal outlined the reasons why they chose to build on Solana, citing Solana's network fast final finality and minimal fees, but just as important the decision to build with token extensions. Now, token extensions are essentially compliance in a box. Unlike other blockchain solutions, which require institutions to use the third party tools for added features, token extensions are tools available for any developer and they're natively in protocol. Now, PYUSD on Solana is one of the earliest stable coins to take advantage of token extensions, in particular, PYUSD, PayPal on Solana uses these confidential transfers, which is allowing merchants the options to maintain confidentially and transaction amounts while maintaining visibility of other transactions details for regular purposes. Transfer hooks, so enabling developers to invoke custom programs during token transfers for individuals and merchants using the PYUSD. Memo fields, so enabling senders and receivers to include information along with payments, creating a more user-friendly experience for daily payments and business transactions. It's incredible, guys. These features are not merely nice to have, the letter says they believe that these important features to provide merchants with a PYUSD is to grow in its utility to border commercial segments. PayPal being a part of Solana is absolutely huge. Huge, it's one of the biggest companies on the planet. And coming into what we would say is definitely in the top five cryptos on the planet is just an absolute outstanding partnership. Now, going into the top Solana meme coins by market cap, and what I wanna do at the end of this video for you is I don't need to go into every single one and review them. I'm gonna tell you what I have position in. And I have a position in these because I've researched where I think it's going during the bull run coming up for meme coins. So dog with hat, of course I have a position in, it's actually been my biggest growth in any meme coin, whether it's on any chain, this was my biggest growth dog with hat. Okay, I have a position in there, I have a position in Bonk. Book of meme, I do as well. Pukai, I do not. Cats and dogs world, I do not. Ponk, I do not. The next one I do is slur. So I have slurf, I have dog with hat, Bonk, book of meme, and that is it. Them four is what I'm shouting for you. So guys, it doesn't mean that you have to go and buy them, but I wanted to just give you an interest in what I have a position in right now. There is more, by the way, meme coins that I do, but in that top, sort of 15 mark, okay, they're the four that I do. Now again, guys, if you don't have money to invest into cryptocurrency, you need to be careful, but there is a way that you can earn more crypto in less than 10 minutes per day with the first XLP game. It will take a little bit of investment, not as much as buying a huge, huge position in XLP. You can earn crypto rewards here, okay? All you gotta do is put your email in here and again, go through the instructions that I spoke about in the middle of the video and get involved. Now guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and I'm trying to get as much facts to you as I can, especially on this video with Bitcoin and Solana. Now Solana could be in serious, serious trouble. 
with partnerships with companies like PayPal, they do their research too. They don't just watch a YouTube video and get involved in a company. So I would lean towards maybe the 8% positions that we just looked at in Solana could have another reason, maybe have a bit more safety aspect to them. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think PayPal adapting on the Solana chain would be a position if this was true, because I very much doubt that the experts in PayPal have not researched this token through and through the whole project, every single thing about Solana. So maybe it is, maybe it is not. But what I do know is the crypto market is in free fall. And what that means for us is this is a very discounted time to buy crypto. That's what, how I see this. And again, you don't need to take my advice, but I'm going to be purchasing quite a lot of crypto over the next week, trying to fill these dips. Now, it's one of them things. Everyone in crypto has a meme, buy the dip. I truly do buy the dip because I think buying the dip is the best way to grow your portfolio. I like dollar cost averaging, buying over time. But when I see a dip of 17% on a token like Solana, there's no saying how much I'm going to put into this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. It's going to make me know that you liked it and make me feel very good. Hit that subscribe if you want to be part of the Bull Runners family. There's a link down below where you can learn to earn more crypto in less than 10 minutes per day with the number one XRP game. So please, please get into that right now. But do me the biggest favor. Hit that bell because what it's going to do is next time when I make a video, which is going to be tomorrow, you're going to get notified. So let's have a great day. Stay safe in the markets and I'll see you next time.